Hello and welcome once again to my Let's Play of Romania, Bessarabia is ours. And today we are going to be consolidating, I think, a little bit. Today's a consolidation episode because we have recently wiped out the Bulgarians and the Hungarians. So we're, we're very Garyanless now. And we're going to be needing to think about what we're going to do next and how things are going to shape up for the Axis and whether or not we're going to try and uh, nick one more country before things really kick off or whether we can't afford to get world tension any higher. I mean, we're the largest generator of world tension, right? And 23% of the whole world tension is generated by us. We should probably chill. Um, but I don't know. I mean, previously on, on other attempts, I've, I've tried to take Yugoslavia as well. I mean, that is going to force world tension even higher. But do we care? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how much we care about this. Um, let's get you on the border with Yugoslav and you on the border with Poland. Meanwhile, let's check our logistics setup. We are behind on total artillery. We have a lot of guns. Uh, we have more motorized than we need. We have more Okay, yeah, we're, we're all right here. Um, so let's put more into total artillery. That'll get filled. Uh, Albania has been captured by Italy. Questions, do we want to invade Greece? I just... World tension's gonna reach 100% anyways. Let's kick ass. I mean, if, if we... It, if we were gonna try and keep world tension low, uh, the time for that has sadly long passed. Um, let's fabricate on Serbia and Moravia, so at least after the war, oh, do we want to do that yet, or do we want to wait, because maybe Germany's going to declare war on Poland, and then we want our claims there when, when Germany goes to war with them, I don't know, no, let's just... Let's just do it now. Um, Germany will have to take care of uh, Poland on its own. I mean, if it can't do that, then we just might as well just call it quits now because of Germany's rampant incompetence. Who knows? Maybe, maybe um, Gold Mustache Man will surprise me this time around and do all right. But I have never been uh, impressed with him yet uh, in comparison to how FDR always just kicks everyone's ass. Okay, <laughs> so we're fabricating on them. Do I need more things in production? No, I've got a load of divisions in production. I'm surprised how well they're, that's doing. Um, do I need a trainee army? Yeah, I actually could use a trainee army. Let's get a new commander as well. And uh, put all our trainee units on him. and Train away. Mobile defense complete, so we're... We're searching through these pretty good. Mm, integrated support, soft attack, organization, recovery rate. Mm, soft attack is too good. To, too good to take. I said I was going to convert some more factories to military because I think we've got more um, civilian factories right now than we need. Oh, we're at 32 or 32. But that's repairing these um, infrastructure. So I think we're alright with that uh, modified government I don't really want to spend any of this yet we're totally mobilized uh, export focused economy I, I really don't know what is best I mean I want to keep my factory output as high as possible now so that's alright I could get a chief of the air force or more military high command infantry expert would be pretty darn good I'll have to take that Infantry expert is just too useful when all you've got is infantry. Um, do I want to improve any of these? Let's see. Oh, oh pause, pause, pause. Okay, what do we want to do here? Uh, we've got ideology. We can't get to ideological sharing yet. I'm going to push through for the extra building slots. Yeah. I, I really wish I knew how these worked better, uh, because 
it doesn't, it's not initially clear to me. I think I'm going to get Doctrine Effect so I can get those other Doctrines quicker. And... What are we at now? 1940? I'm going to keep researching new support weapons. And also then I need to go in here, I think, and change that to infantry weapons too. And... Mm, okay, that's fine. God, people do not like trading with us. Uh, I think it's the um, us being, you know, the world's biggest badasses at the moment. This is the price you pay for uh, being a thug. I just don't know what we're going to do here, because what I see happening is uh, I boosted world tension really, really high. So what I think I've given is I've given Britain, but particularly America, way more power early game than they would have had. And that just doesn't seem good seems really bad I also need to have a look at repairing my planes how do you set them to repair create new wing because they're at 24 24 set reinforcement limit it should be all right I feel like they should be is it just that I don't oh Poland join the allies let's see let's see is Germany doing what I think Germany is doing no Molotov Ribbentrop Pact okay they're, they're still a ways from war uh, I would think that uh, Danzig or war oh yeah look at that Danzig or war is going to follow pretty soon As much as we're doing okay on the logistics side of things, I'm going to decrease some of these divisions in production because I just think we've got too many. I'm not going to be able to train them all in time. Uh, yes. Because I need the manpower elsewhere. Italy pursues closer bond with Germany. Yeah. Okay, cool. And these guys are all training up. Mmm. Poland. Poland, Poland, Poland. I think you're gonna put up a much better fight against Germany than they ought to. Germany just doesn't look like it's got enough divisions on that front. 40 divisions. Mm. Mostly tanks, though. Light tanks. I don't rate their chances. I just. My disappointment in Germany cannot be overstated. Of course, I haven't made things easier for them by raising world tension so high so quickly. Um, maybe I should do this campaign just declaring one war and taking over Hungary because of their stuff. Or maybe Bulgaria? And then that wouldn't get world tension so high, but mm, I don't really know. I don't really know. I do know that if I just wait for World War II to start, I'm never going to fully occupy any territory. Uh, because the nice thing about this is, look at this territory I actually own, because it's before the Super Wars. Whereas, if I don't take territory before, then it, it doesn't even count as my territory. You get huge penalties throughout the whole game. And if you're a tiny country, it just feels like, meh, meh. What am I, what am, why am I bothering to get involved in such a protracted war that I'm never really going to benefit from? Oh, cool. Alright. Did... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Japan. You're, whoa. Okay, maybe there's hope for the Axis after all. Okay, Italy is also justifying against Yugoslavia. Okay, so maybe me and Italy can go to war with Yugoslavia at the same time. That would be good. A thing that annoys me is because, like, I share this border with Poland, Poland is actually going to be super aggressive through here. And that that's really annoying. Um, I almost think that in future I should wait to join the Axis um, until the war of Poland is over. Uh, but then, of course, if they go to war with Yugoslavia, then I don't get involved in that. So, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's hard to tell without playing lots of successive 
uh, iterations to know. Ow, crap. I wanted to split that twice and then send some to him so he's got more guys down here. And let's um, draw up a battle plan. The Italians have already drawn one up. But we're going to also draw one up. Uh, ours is going to be much simpler. We just want to go out from here. And capture Belgrade. And the Italians will do the rest for us. Because I almost think we need more troops just there to hold up Poland. Poland can be strong. Uh, people underestimate Poland. Poland can, Poland can kick some butt if you give Poland a chance. Um. Anything more infantry strategic bombing? Special forces attack? No, 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 no that's all that useful. Uh, 1939, production efficiency cap, definitely. So I wanna add air reformer, air experience gain, air support. Mm, sounds good. And then now I'm going to have to save to up conscription because, as you see, we're just running out of men. This is the thing with Romania. You just you just run out of people. Because what are we at now? We're at limited conscription. If we go up to extensive conscription... Oh, we can do that now, actually. I don't see any reason not to do that now. It has not Oh, training time. Okay, that's why. We'll keep training for now. Uh, Sing Chang joined communism... Uh, oh, they are justified by Britain and France. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Do I also want to start influencing Turkey to go fascist? Because Turkey's not aligned. I'm trying to think. I, I have the spare political power. It's still early enough in the game. Oh, we return to trying to encourage Ireland to go fascist. Um, anything to make... Um, the lives of Britain and America more annoying um, because Ireland could be annoying for Britain and Northern Ireland and I don't think we're going to be short of uh, modified government stuff Stalin questions the motives of Le oh my god the Russians are fabricating on us already oh that that is far from good. Oh, that's real bad. I've I've not used to um, Russia justifying that quickly. What the hell? Okay. Well, that is not how the game was supposed to go. That is not how it was supposed to go at all. Uh, because I don't think there's any chance for us to hold this early. Um, I mean, we could concede, but they're justifying, they're fabricating, a, a, um, yeah, and if I give in, it's kind of makes the whole let's play kind of mute because you know we're not giving into the Soviets so they're, they're they're maybe not as prepared as they should be so let's see here we go what oh, I I misclicked oh I clicked the wrong one oh that's depressing okay fine we'll take Yugoslavia instead that will make up for losing Bessarabia we will get it back though we will definitely get it back oh my god what a stupid mistake I think my my brain said one thing and my heart said run away from Russia because it's just too early damn it damn it okay now I really want to take um, Yugoslavia stupid Okay, so 
he's going to head up this whole assault. Hopefully we can gain back some of the territory. Um, but of course this is going to start World War II, so that this territory we gain isn't going to uh, give us anything. Damn it. Of course, Russia might have justified a more general war goal and be declaring upon us anyways pretty soon, so that's that's pretty annoying. Who's going to be finished first? I'm going to be finished before... Yeah, I'm going to be finished before the Italians are. We'll get Bessarabia back when um, Germany declares war. And Germany's probably going to... Nah, they're already going towards the answer to war. Oh, this is gonna be this is really 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 not turning out how I had wanted it to. Okay, newbie divisions with no training, you're all gonna have to just guard our border with Poland. No, 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 not that border. I want you to guard the border with Poland, boys. Oh, by giving up Bessarabia, we've given up a lot of our border with Poland. That could end up being um That could end up being a good thing in the long run because on my previous Let's Play, trying to hold that little border there, for some reason, was ridiculously hard. For some reason, Poland thought it would be a great idea to throw the whole lot of their um, their efforts at me. Uh, this feels like wasted research. Let's get an aviation effect. I'm so sad, guys. We, should, we probably just should have fought the Russians right there, but if we bait Germany into a conflict with Russia that early on, I mean, the Axis is going to get screwed. Maybe the Soviets are going to get screwed, because they're not that prepared. Stalin's pretty weak. They've still got negative effects from uh, internal instability, but, man, that's unlucky. I mean, generally, I see them do that stuff way after the war with Poland and the end of the molotov ribbentrop Pact. Uh, going for Bessarabia that early is... And I have historical AI on, so. It's really hard to tell. Now, we're going to be able to declare this war slightly before the Polish war. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to waste any time and risk. Wait, are we a member of the Axis? Did I ask to join? Yeah, I did. Just making sure. Now, maybe I could have not called my allies, but I don't really fancy, like, not calling them in. Especially because Britain and France are involved. This is going to have to be a world... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So we're at war with Poland now as well. I've sent my inexperienced troops to hopefully soak some XP and help the Germans out a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of messages at once game. Phew. It looks like we're going to have a really easy time breaking down the... Uh, okay, now we got to sort out our steel needs. Uh, Germany, can you give me everything I need steel-wise? Yeah, you can. Tungsten. Uh, Soviet Union. Maybe more. Uh, yeah, we're good there. Oh, crap. Did I order all my planes to do things? Yep. Yep. I just don't know how... Why aren't they reinforcing properly? Is it that I don't have enough? I don't get this. Oh, yeah. I should change this leader as well. You're better. There you go. Oh. Ooh, volunteers. Oh, thank you for your one division. 
this might turn out all right in the end. I mean, it's a little bit sad to have a Bessarabi as our let's play and misclick the button and give it to Russia. That is, that's not what we wanted, but we'll get it back. Um, I mean, in the end, if we win the war against Russia, uh, it'll be back in Romanian hands in the long run. We'll, we'll buy it our time. Oh, Germany's doing, is Germany doing all right? Hmm. Let's. Can I assign him to follow the same attack plans of some German division? No, I can't. Hmm. I wonder if you could. So I, I can't assign him to. Be nice if you could. I think if I click on the same front, they will assist. Maybe I'm wrong. I want to have a better contribution than the Italians in this war as well. Because I don't want them having higher score than me and then walking off with more of Yugoslavia than I have. They're going to definitely take some because they get an event for it anyways, regardless, as long as we're both members of the Axis. So... Fresh division. Uh, we don't have time to train people anymore. It's war. They're going to have to get their experience fighting. Can't be uh, paying people to shoot guns and bullets all the time when uh, people... Actually, what, why are we so low on supplies? What are we... Hmm... Our Romanian Yugoslavia has been merged with the German Luxembourg War. No, no. Now we're never going to get this territory. That makes me very sad. Is it because we swapped up the type of weapons we're using? I bet it is, because now we need loads. Luxembourg has capitulated. Belgium joined the Allies. German Reich has declared war on Belgium. See, look at Poland's fighting back. Poland's fighting back, man. This is, um, and I shouldn't have declared this, so I should be helping Germany, but Germany should be able to take down Poland without my help. I mean, I, I can't figure out whether, whether the reason that Germany does so uselessly in every game I play is because I'm raising world tension too high and screwing them over, or whether Germany is just blatantly incompetent. Um, I'm suspecting just blatant incompetence. I need more. We need more guns. So let's, uh, oh, Soviet Union has declared war on Poland. That hasn't happened before. This is turning into a weird game for a game with historically on. Generally, I mean, they make the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, but they don't. Uh, they don't. They don't actually follow through with a full-on war on Poland. Hmm. Okay, so we need to wrap this up, and then... Okay, that's wrapped up. Oh, what? Did that all go to Italy? Oh, no, no. I took um, Belgrade. Okay, so I got the stuff I had claims on. And in the end, this is better stuff than what was in Basarabia, so we're equal now, even though we're taking huge penalties, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Um, why aren't you reinforcing fighters? I will never understand how to get fighters to reinforce in this game. If anyone knows, please help. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to take out Belgium. just want a front there. And then an invasion line that wipes them out. Um, 
sucked all. Mm. What are you doing? There we go. I don't get how to. Is are they not reinforcing because I'm not making? I am making those kind of fighters. Are we just out of fighters? Oh, we are. Netherlands to join the Allies. Okay. Your front line now needs to be expanded. Let's cancel those orders because we need to help Germany wipe out all of these now. And then just put our offensive line as going through Brussels and Amsterdam. Yeah, I couldn't have afforded to do this if I'd drawn if I'd drawn us into a war with the Russians. The Russians might have just said, oh, sorry, and not have declared war, but they were already, um, they were already fabricating a claim, so I can't see that they wouldn't have on top of the fabrication also gone to war with us. They may still go to war with us when the war with Poland is over, in which case I think we're in a pretty hopeless situation. We need to go over here and help Germany, um, finish off these guys here. So the French lines are pretty stretched, but I think the British have mobilized reasonably well because we got world tension so high, so. And it's October 1939, and the front with Poland is more or less static. I mean, it's, yeah, it's static. It's just my troops holding the front line against the Polish. Really? Germany. Germany. Can the Italians hold on? This game has turned out way, way, way weirder than I thought it was going to. I mean, I was ranting about German incompetence at the beginning, but I had no idea what was in store for us. <laughs> They're not going to take Poland. Man. Alright, launch your plan, dude. I can't believe this. Germany can't beat Poland. Germany can't beat Poland. Germany. <laughs> this is so sad. I mean, Russia is going to beat them up. And I think they've made the molotov ribbentrop Pact, so Germany's going to get Poland anyways with the help of the Russians, and at least their front's better on this side. But whew, this is not this is not going to be good. Uh, I'm going to end this video here, guys, and we'll see how our offensive materializes uh, over here in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe or comment or all that good jazz.